Charlie Meets a Dragon The first time Charlie met Rupert, Charlie was playing in his yard. He was supposed to be cleaning his room, but he had gotten distracted. Besides, he would use any excuse to avoid his chores. Rupert was curled up behind the house and was snoring like a giant with a cold. He was mostly dark green and he was covered with scales as big as roof shingles. Just then, Rupert woke up. He gazed at Charlie with eyes like sandwich plates. Wow, said Charlie. Are you a dragon? Rupert nodded. Yes, I am a hungry dragon. Do you have any food? Well, um, sure, Charlie stammered. I'll get you some, but then you will have to tell me where you came from and how you got here. Rupert agreed. So Charlie ran into the house and filled a bag with a head of lettuce, two oranges, a loaf of bread, and some peanut butter. Then he raced back outside. He wasn't sure what dragons eat. As Rupert happily munched on the food, he told Charlie about his homeland and the huge cave he lived in. It sounds like you miss your home, Charlie said. Why are you here? They made me leave because I refused to do my work, Rupert explained sadly. Every dragon must work, and my job was to take care of the garden, but I like taking naps instead. I was warned many times, and then they made me leave. Charlie could see how Rupert was and that got him thinking about his own situation. He had to work too. He promised Rupert that he would come back the next day. When Charlie got to his room, he, left, he felt energized. He looked around at the mess. What a job this would be. But Charlie knew he had put this off long enough and he was ready to work hard. As Rupert had learned the, way, the hard way, everyone has, to work, has work that must be done. One, click the detail that best supports the conclusion that Charlie is procrastinating. The first time Charlie met Rupert, Charlie was playing in his yard. He was supposed to be cleaning his room, but he had gotten distracted. Besides, he would use any excuse to avoid his chores. Rupert was curled up behind the house and was snoring like a giant with a cold. He was mostly dark green and he was covered with scales as big as roof shingles. Number two, Charlie and Rupert are similar. Which lines from the passage best support this inference? Choose two answers. A, every dragon must work and my job was to take care of the garden, but I like taking naps instead. B, when Charlie got to his room, he felt energized. C, he had work to do too. He promised Rupert that he would come back the next day. D, the first time Charlie met Rupert, Charlie was playing in his yard. He was supposed to be cleaning his room, but he had gotten distracted. E, I was warned many times and then they made me leave. Read the line from the passage, number three. They made me leave because I refused to do my work, Rupert explained sadly. Every dragon must work and my job was to take care of the garden, but I like to take naps instead. I was warned many times and then they made me leave. What does the underlined word most likely mean? A. Procrastinated on. B. Was upset about. C. To fuse again. D. Not willing to do something. Number four. What did Charlie promise Rupert? A. That he would clean his room. B. That he would come back the next day. C, that he would make dinner. D, that he would clean outside. Number five, summarize what happens after Charlie saw how sad Rupert was. Use key details from the passage in your summary.